Hey guys, Rebecca here, and today I am filming part two of my no issue review. As you saw in the previous video, I went through the ordering process and um, a little bit into how I prepared my artwork for the tissue paper that I ordered um, from No Issue. I did custom printed tissue paper with one color design as well as I got the compostable mailers. In case you missed the first video, I did a collaboration with No Issue where they sent me um, these products in order to review them. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you get them in the mail, when you unbox them, what your product is gonna look like, what you can expect. So what I did here, already got my X-Acto knife. I cut through these um, bands because as you can see um, here and, well, well, this one partially fell off, but it's got two bands across here, and this one has four bands um, securing the package closed, all done up with extra tape, so it was very secure when it arrived. So let's do the compostable mailers first. Um, these actually arrived second. I thought that they would all arrive together. However, I think that the mailers were on back order. I think they are a lot more popular than no issue intended or expected. And I think they've been selling out. So um, I had to wait for these a little bit longer. I think they were, you know, in production and then they got sent to me. So let's open it up and see what we have. Cool artwork inside the box. It says, welcome to our world. And then inside we have this bag that is holding all of the mailers. Okay, so here we have all of the compostable mailers. And these are, I already knew what these were gonna look like because I got a sample one from when I was at Craftcation. That's how I found out about No Issue. And the reason why I wanted to do this review and collaborate with them is because as a graphic designer, as a web designer, in the past I have done um, package design and helped clients with their branding, making sure that they create a whole experience. And in your business, it might be part of your brand story, your brand mission to be eco-friendly, to use um, responsible, recycled, compostable, eco-friendly type materials. So I thought that this would be really interesting for you guys to learn about um, this company that makes these compostable mailers. So, um, Eco Packaging Alliance, 100% compostable, and it has a little bit of, you know, some fun facts printed on here, um, saying that it's made out of plant material like corn. It will disappear in six months if you compost it. So, that's the mailers. We'll go ahead and put these away. And now we move on to the fun part. So this is custom printed tissue paper. Um, I think that one thing that handmade sellers overlook at the beginning is the unboxing experience and branding of everything when it comes to their products. So, you know, you work really hard on making the perfect product, whether it be ceramics or crochet or knit or um, soap or bath and body products. You know, you work, work at making the best product but then when it comes to fulfilling the orders, you know, maybe you put a business card in there with it and then you just package it up and ship it off in, you know, regular packaging materials with no branding on it, maybe just plain cardboard boxes. But then as you evolve, you start to look into things like custom printed tape, stickers, um, tissue paper, at least tissue paper that's colors that matches your branding. So when your recipient gets their product in the mail, it creates a whole experience and it feels really special. And that can do a lot to elevate your brand and help you command higher prices. What you want is for someone to be impressed when they open your product. So they get your product in the mail, they open it up, and it's better than they expected. They didn't realize it was gonna be packaged so nicely and it feels like a lot of care went into it because a lot of care did go into it. I know how Etsy sellers are, they care so much. 
And so just adding little details like custom printed um, packing materials can make it feel so much more special to the end customer. So let's see what we have. Um, first of all, they um, have custom printed boxes. So I thought that was pretty cool. I knew exactly what was arriving at my door, which you know makes it more exciting when something shows up and it's got, you know exactly what it is. You just get excited right away. So we're gonna open it up. Okay, so here is my tissue paper. I did get um, good email updates along the way to like, so I knew when this was gonna be in production, when it was done, when it was shipping. So I was definitely kept in the loop, which was nice. And it, it came rather quickly, I thought, a um, couple weeks, I think. So let's open it up, it's very heavy. So as you can see, these are um, nice big sheets of tissue paper, 20 inches by 30 inches. Let's open it up. So here it is, my custom printed tissue paper. So what I opted for was a one color design and they print on white paper. So because I got one color, I picked this aqua color, which matches my branding. And what I did was I did like a reverse. So I had them print the background basically and where my logo is and my logo image is almost like a resist. Basically, it's where there's not ink. So it's not blue paper with white ink, it's white ink with a blue field um, printed. So in case you're wondering. So what I did here was basically just a step and repeat of my logo alternating with this image of a conch shell that goes with my logo. It's a, a nice weight. It is a pretty strong paper. It's not just gonna, like you're not just gonna poke right through it. I mean, I had to put some real pressure before it rips, so that's really nice. And these are nice big pieces of paper, so I'll be able to wrap up several bars of soap with each of these sheets. Um, I will probably cut them maybe even in fourths and then just use them like that. And maybe maybe I'll do some of them in fourths and then some in halves if somebody orders like a whole, you know, a big box of soap. But yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out. I would definitely recommend no issue for getting custom printed tissue paper or compostable mailers, eco-friendly packaging. They have a lot more other products too. I just haven't reviewed those. I haven't gotten um, I have gotten a couple samples of like stickers that the printing looked really good. So it's definitely something that you would keep in mind if you're looking for branded packaging materials. Um, you can go check out, I'll put a link in the description below so that you can get no issue and order and see how you like it. So let me know in the comments below, do you have any kind of custom printed packaging materials such as tape, tissue paper? stickers um what do you put in your packaging i know a lot of people put like a business card size or a postcard and maybe we can get some really good ideas going um or maybe you'll get some ideas if you're kind of stuck um on what you want to include for your customers so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and watch out for the next video bye guys